So in this video, we've set up the electro-polishing bath. If you remember from the first video, we had the piece of stainless steel. Well, we've now put the stainless steel into the sulfuric acid, phosphoric acid mix. So in the beaker here, we have the sulfuric acid, phosphoric acid mix up to 150 mil. And on the left hand side, we have the piece of stainless steel connected to the red terminal of the power supply, which is the anode. And on the other side, we have the carbon rod this black electrode here is a piece of carbon, graphite to be exact, and that's connected to the black terminal. And if you follow around to the power supply here, so we've set the power supply up, which is an analog power supply, so the, the anode is the plus terminal and the cathode is a negative terminal. And over on the left hand side we have a voltmeter just showing the voltage that will appear across the two electrodes. So if you remember, electropolishing takes place when we make the object that we're going to electropolish, a piece of stainless steel, we make that into the anode and the counter electrode is the cathode and the mixture of phosphoric acid and sulfuric acid has been chosen to be just perfect for electropolishing. It has a very viscous uh, feel to it. it, the viscosity is very high in other words and if I just switch on the power supply now We've set it to 2.9 volts and half uh, 0.412 amps. If you look on the other voltmeter, you can see it says 2.89 volts across the electrodes. If you look carefully, you can see a lot of gas coming off the carbon rod and no gas at all on the stainless steel. So the stainless steel is slowly dissolving away to do the electro polishing. And on the other electrode, the carbon rod, we have gas coming off. So this is a cathode, and since it's strongly acidic, the gas coming off is mostly hydrogen gas coming off. You see the bubbles of hydrogen coming off? So this is the counter-reaction with the hydrogen coming off. And you can't see much happening at the moment on the stainless steel because the, the, re the action that's happening is that we are taking away the rough surfaces from the stainless steel, preferentially. So if you remember from the lecture, the stainless steel under the microscope has mountains and troughs and we're taking w away all the mountain peaks to make a smooth surface. So now I'm going to switch the magnetic stirrer on. If you look carefully, now we're stirring the solution. So it's quite important to do this. This will help to make a more uniform film and make the surface of the stainless steel more mirror-like in reflectance. So we'll stop the video in a moment. We'll come back in about half an hour.